Internet, good morning. This is Daybreak748 coming back at you guys with, once again, one of my favorite segments, and it is none other than the Toy Haul. Now, as you guys know, last week I did like a recap video of pretty much everything I've picked up uh, from September all the way up until October. The only thing that was not included in that video was my New York Comic Con toy haul, which is com a completely different video. So if you haven't watched those and you're into like toy hauls and whatnot, I highly recommend you go watch it. I have a playlist for that. Now, with that being said, that pretty much brings us all the way up to date. And so let's get started. So the first item that I picked up was a purchase that I made from um, eBay. As you guys know, I am recently, or I have been recently, just infatuated with Digimon. So I've watched Digimon try. I'm actually in the process of watching all of the seasons from season one all the way until the current one. Uh, I know some of them are not that great, but if you guys can leave in the comment section down below telling me which seasons I should kind of avoid, that would be greatly appreciated. So with that said, the purchase that I made from eBay is this one right here. It's the SH Figuarts Imperial Dramon. Now you might be thinking, Daybreak, you have already purchased this figure. Actually, not quite. It is very similar to the Imperial Imperial Dramon that I reviewed, but this is actually the Paladin mode. So, real quickly, let me just open this and I will showcase what's inside. Super Sorry about that. So super excited. Bam. There he is, guys. It is the Paladin mode. So what's the difference? Well, you can clearly tell the color, sc color scheme is very, very different. The box is different. On the back, it showcases pretty much everything. So instead of getting that blaster um, set, you get this awesome two-hand or two, yeah, two-hand wielding sword which is pretty freaking fantastic looking. And it looks like there's little minor tweaks here and there, but pretty much it's overall the same exact figure. So can't wait to review this guy for you guys. He will be coming up pretty much um, on Monday of this coming week. So stay tuned for that. All right, on to the next set of figures that I've picked up. It is actually from the good folks at AmiAmi, Ami. and as you guys can clearly see, this is the new card for the fall season. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think I will be doing like a like a show and tell type of thing where I showcase all of the different AmiAmi Ami cards because that is a thing. People collect these things and they are pretty adorable, as you guys can clearly see. So AmiAmi Ami loves to throw in stuff like this, so yeah, can't wait. I will show them all to you guys in the near future. But here you go, that's the back. So I'll put this over to the side here and we'll get started. We'll start with the smaller figures and then work our way to the bigger ones. So here we go. We have the first figure. We have this Dragon Ball styling. And yeah, I am not really sure if this was a right purchase or not, but I wanted to try. Uh, I feel like this figure would go nicely with uh, my SH figure arts. It might be a little bit on the small side, but I wanted some more female figures. So this one I knew they weren't going to make anytime soon. So I picked this one up. Hopefully, hopefully, crossing my fingers, uh, the scale will be on uh, close. Hopefully. So there you go. I will definitely do a review of her. So stay tuned for that. The next figure that I picked up is a Figma, and it is none other than Figma Caster from Fate Extra. Love, love, love this character design. I mean, she looks so freaking cute. Uh, yeah, I really can't wait to get her open and displayed. Um, yeah, so that's that. Stay tuned for that. All right, up to our up next is the last figure that I purchased and it's actually the biggest one. So give me a sec. Here we go. You ready? 
Now, as soon as I saw this figure come up for pre-order, or even just the prototype, I was like, man, I have to have her. She looks freaking amazing. And it is none other than, bam. First, let me show you the name. Flemmy Spidlo, Spidlo. I don't know how you pronounce that. It's, she's right inside. And this is from the anime Roko the Six Flowers or something like that. But as you guys can clearly see, she freaking looks amazing. Uh, something Brave something, I don't remember the name, but it was a pretty cool anime. And I am definitely hoping that they have a season two. So, had to pick this one up, and it's from, I think, Good Smile Company, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Yup. Good Smile Company right there. Or, Freeing slash Good Smile Company. So, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure I will be quite pleased with this figure. And that is it, guys. So, there you have it. I know it's a smaller haul. But a lot of the figures these days are getting pushed back. And so, yeah, my November haul, ugh. That is going to be quite expensive. But until then, guys, this is Daybreak748. And yeah, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. If you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or would like to see any of these figures reviewed first, Please leave it in the comment section down below. And until next time, guys, this is Daybreak748. I'm signing out. Peace out, guys.